hi everyone, I'm Tam. I'm a women's health nutritionist and I run Hormone Harmony Academy, the eight-week program to balance your hormones and heal period problems. And today I'm here with the beautiful Shannon. She is going to chat with us a little bit about her experience inside HHA and some of the absolutely incredible results that she's achieved. So hi Shannon, thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Tam. Um, great to be here. Yeah, really great to get you on this call. Um, so we had a little quick chat before we started recording today, and I know there were quite a few things going on for you, really right back to when you had your very first period that sort of led you into doing this program. So I'd love if you could just talk us through a bit of your history and how you found yourself where you are today. Yeah, sure. So as a teenager, I started out with very irregular periods, so I'd get very heavy, um, a lot of clotting in my periods. Um, they would last for a couple of weeks and then they'd uh, go away. I wouldn't have them for four to six months and then um, I'd, I'd get them again for another two weeks and then I have a week break and then another period and so it was um, really all over the shop. I would always have period pain to the point where I would roll around on the ground screaming sometimes. You know, Nurofen was the strongest thing that you'd, you could take to deal with that that was over the counter. You know, you'd have the heat packs every day so you wouldn't want to go to school or work. I had a lot of acne as a, as a kid and um, that didn't help with a lot of your self-esteem. So my face, my back, my chest and in my hairline was all covered with a, a, a lot of the large cystic type acne, which is, is quite painful as well. So a bit of discomfort there and as my family would attest I had some significant mood swings as well yeah so I, I went to the doctors to try and clear up the acne and um, they put me on the pill I know a lot of people have had the same experience and um, I was on the pill up until my early 30s when I got married and decided I wanted to have children came off the pill and just started trying for kids up until a point where things just weren't working so we went to get checked and found out I had polycystic ovary syndrome and I was told that I would either need to go back on the pill or take fertility treatment to fall pregnant things that I didn't really want to do I, I really wanted to have a kid and I wanted to do it naturally so um, to be honest I think Tam's program came up just on Facebook and it, it really spoke to me so I joined that and been in the program now nearly nearly 12 months yeah yeah and following all, all the steps and I've, I've gone from having very irregular periods no longer on the pill lots of acne still and down to having a, a 30 day cycle where I'm getting my period every month and I had my first pain-free period last month amazing and, um, <laughs> and my acne has cleared up a lot so I still get a little bit here and there depending on what I put in my diet but um no it's 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 doing a lot better yeah it's so, so incredible to hear those changes and I think that your story is such a common one where you're suffering with these really horrendous issues and you reach out to have some support from your doctor and unfortunately almost every time the only thing that is offered is to go on the pill which as you found out just really suppressed those symptoms but it didn't actually address that root cause of why you were having them in the first place so I am so glad that you were able to see that that was actually a bit of a band-aid solution um, and come to that point of wanting to dive further into it and really understand what was driving your symptoms. And I think as well, you know, with PCOS, it is such a common story to hear that your only options are to use medications to get pregnant because in, in some cases, you know, when you've been trying for a really long time and you've done all of the diet and lifestyle changes, it can be helpful to have that little bit of extra support. Um, but it's frustrating, isn't it, to not be given that information at the start about how important your diet and, you know, your stress levels and the exercise you're doing and your nutrient status and all those things actually impact on your overall hormonal balance and therefore your ability to fall pregnant. Yeah, look, uh, if, if I had known earlier on that this, this kind of thing could have helped so much, you know, the quality of life would have been so different for so many years. Like it's Absolutely. And I know if I, if I do have children, I have girls, they'll be learning about this before they even get their periods so that they know how to eat properly and, and prepare themselves. Yeah, 100%. I feel very lucky to have just had my own baby girl recently and I will definitely be doing the same as she grows up. So that'll be an exciting thing to teach her about periods. So I guess, you know, um, you've kind of explained a little bit about what really led you into the program, but I'd love to hear a bit more about what your experience was like once you were in the program and you started implementing some of the different protocols. Yeah, so I've, I've always been into health and nutrition myself, um, just dabbling here and there. And, you know, you, you get these ideas of how to eat healthy but not until you really understand what's going on personally for you and your hormones does it does it help and 
I think learning learning your course was a, a big eye opener for things that I thought was healthy that perhaps weren't so good for my body. One of the things I was told when I was preparing to try and get pregnant was to eat more dairy. And obviously <laughs> that's a big no-no for me specifically. Yep. Um, yep. So it was a bit challenging to meet new ideas, but definitely worth the, the persistence and, and sticking to the program. Yep. So going going through, there was a lot to learn, but all very beneficial. Yeah, great. And I think you touched upon something so important there. And that is the fact that um, one healthy diet for one person is not going to be the same as a healthy diet for another person. And I think that's something that um, is really unique about the Hormone Harmony Academy program is that we have different sort of protocols based on the different symptoms that you're dealing with. And we're able to really personalize what recommendations are going to be best for you to follow, which things, you know, you don't need to worry about because you can't do it all, right? Um, and as you experience you know you've implemented the protocols over about a 12 month period which is fine it doesn't need to happen in that strict eight month uh, eight week period that the program takes place so I think finding those things that are going to be most important and most impactful is is really important on that journey so that you don't feel too overwhelmed by a crazy amount of changes and feel like you need to pull every single thing out of your diet and completely overhaul your life so I love the way that you've taken this really graded approach and kind of really taken your time I know you mentioned before we started recording that you were implementing the protocol sort of around your life which I love yeah, yeah there's been a, a few things like moving house and changing jobs and uh, studying and a lot of different things so like trying to implement it all at once was way too much and um, definitely taking it step by step and just being kind to yourself which I think you mentioned a lot throughout your, your program as well is um, really important yeah. they're not beating yourself up for not going as fast as what everyone else might be yeah, hundred percent. I think something that I like to talk about a lot is that 80, 20 rule as well, because we we're kind of chatting about this a little bit before, but I really believe that, you know, balancing your hormones and living a, you know, quote unquote healthy life. It's not something you just do for a few weeks or a few months. It is actually a lifelong journey and we're going to have hormones as women, we're going to have hormones for the rest of our life. So I love to think about that 80, 20 approach where we're kind of striving to make healthy choices around about 80% of the time. And then 20% of the time we choose those, what I like to call soul foods, right? So, or even soul practices in your life. So choosing things that light you up and make you feel really great. I think that's the way yeah. to keep doing this, you know, in the future and not feeling like it's that all or nothing approach. Yeah, no, you're definitely right there. So I've just been to a wedding and obviously there wasn't a huge range of healthy options there, but um, yeah, letting go and just enjoying the moment was really important as well. Yeah, 100%. And I think that some of the, the stress and the mental anguish that we can create in our minds around not perfectly following a plan or a protocol when we're on this journey to balance our hormones can actually create so much more damage than eating the, you know, the less healthy choice. So yeah, you definitely hit the nail on the head there. I think something that we really embrace in the HHA program is whilst there are principles that we want to try to follow most of the time, it's so important to give yourself that grace and allow yourself to have times where, um, you know, maybe your health takes a little bit of a backseat for a while and then it comes front and center again at, at different stages. And that's really, really important, particularly when you're on a fertility journey, right? Because that is a very exhausting, very emotional up and down kind of journey to be on. So I think being kind to yourself throughout that is so, so important. Like giving up sugar was one of the hardest things to do, I think, um, and, and yeah. definitely taking a lot longer than, than most of the other steps. So um, yeah, being, being kind in that respect was helpful too. Yeah, yeah. And I think um, we go through quite a few different little tips and tricks, don't we, in the program to to ease that transition, because I know that it is a tough one. How are you going now with, with reducing your sugar intake? Um, I, I have very little um, artificial sugars in my diet now. So I think most of the sugars come from fruit and veg, uh, a little bit of honey here and there. Yeah. And if I'm feeling a bit cheeky, a chocolate. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, full disclosure, I eat dark chocolate every single night and I don't feel right if I don't have it. So <laughs> there's definitely room for some chocolate, <laughs> I always say. We can focus on the magnesium content, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, and I'd love to hear, you know, now that you, I mean, you're still implementing some parts of the program, but now that you've completed HHA, talk me through a little bit about what your life's like now. I know you touched on having your first uh, pain-free period. So what was that like to actually realize that after, you know, 
30 years, it's actually possible to feel normal at that time of the month. Look, it's almost a little bit overwhelming because, um, or, or unbelievable. And it was never something I thought would happen having, you know, had my period for so long and, and never having a pain free period. And all of a sudden realizing that you've got your period because there was no telltale pre warnings that it was coming. So it was a, yeah, a little bit of an unexpected experience, but, um, uh, good because I could get up and I could do my normal daily things without you know feeling down and, and feeling painful so yeah it was a definitely a different experience that I, I look forward to continuing yeah absolutely and I also have a history of really painful periods so I can totally relate I remember the first few times having my pain-free periods and just thinking like wow there is there has been so much of my life that I've been not at my normal capacity you know, I mean, it's okay to be going a bit slower on those days where you're bleeding and that's totally fine. But to be completely stuck in bed with the hot water bottles and the painkillers and cancelling work or school or study for, you know, several days a month is, that's a lot of your life that you're missing out on. So it's, it is an overwhelming feeling for sure. I can relate to that because on the one hand, you're so excited to have this time back. And on the other hand, it's kind of like, wow, I wish I'd done this earlier. I wish I could kind of get that time back that I lost, right? That's right. Yeah. And, and even just getting your periods regularly has been, you know, needless, um, something I never thought I'd say was, um, you know, exciting to get my period, you know, you'd always dread it coming, but now it's like, oh, okay, it's, it's back. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And, and as I'm sure, you know, on that fertility journey, I know that you're still on that journey, but just the fact that you are having regular cycles and that you aren't having all of those symptoms is saying to us that your hormones are in so much better place now. You know, they are so much more balanced. And if you're not experiencing the symptoms you were before, then, you know, you are ovulating regularly. You're not having that, you know, potentially that excess of estrogen that might've been causing the painful periods, potentially the imbalance in androgens that was causing the irregular cycles. Those things are all kind of finding that beautiful rhythm again and that is the most important part of the beginning of that fertility journey is just getting things back to a place of being regular and balanced and then we can focus on that next step (laughs) um all right i have one final question for you shannon would you recommend hha to other women absolutely i already have um so i've got a family full of um endometriosis and pcos um sufferers so um they've already been given your details and um yeah anybody i speak to I, i tell them how i've I've been going through this program and how much it's helped. So I I definitely recommend HHA. Amazing. I'm so glad to hear that. And I would love to support any and all of your family members who are interested. So that's great to hear. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Shannon. I've really loved hearing more about your story and I cannot wait to continue to see how you go on this journey. Thank you so much, Tam. You have a wonderful day. You too. Thanks.